everybody. So I uh, just got back from the farmer's market um, that's held at the old brickyard here in Toronto, just off the Bayview extension. Uh, you got to get there earlier or else you're not going to get parking. Um, I was there by nine o'clock and already the parking lot was almost full. And I do have a pet peeve about the parking system there. You have to pay for parking, it's pretty expensive. Um, and also they require, when you get your ticket, you have to put your license plate number, uh, log in your license plate number so that goes on the ticket. That way, you know, if you've got extra time, you can't give that to somebody else. I always like doing that. If I have a parking ticket and I've got extra time there and somebody is about to park, I always offer them my ticket. Well, they fix that problem there. And then on top of that, uh, the Bayview Extension, if anybody lives in Toronto is familiar with it, it's actually, it's a nice um, drive through the Don Valley. And um, so there's really no pedestrians or anything like that. It's the kind of road, and, and it's on a hill as well. So when you're going down the hill, it's easy to accelerate. And the speed limit's only 60 kilometers an hour. And so uh, you go around this bend, and before you know it, there's a police officer with his radar gun ready to nail you because even if you don't put gas, even if you don't um, put your foot on the pedal, you're gonna break the speed limit. So in order to, to uh, drive the speed limit while going downhill, you have to um, put your foot on the brake basically and keep your eye on the speedometer and pay attention or else you will break the speed limit and Mr. Police Officers around the corner ready to nail you. That would really, uh, you know, kind of take the fun out of your morning shopping at the farmer's market, but that's typical of Toronto. We have the parking Nazis and we have our uh, uh, Metro Police out there more than anxious to give people speeding tickets. Um, our city wasn't always like that, but it's become that now and it's unfortunate. But if you can get through all of that, um, the farmer's market at the Brickyard off of the Bayview Extension on Saturdays is a great place to do some shopping for local, mostly organic um, food grown here in Ontario. So let me show you what I picked up today. Okay, here's my food haul. So it's now peach season here in Ontario and the peaches are just delicious. And heirloom tomatoes, different varieties, some bok choy, carrots, and my favorite vegetable for smoothies, kale, cucumber, um, onions, beets, and I got some apples. Uh, probably in about another month we'll start seeing apple season um, kicking in but it's been a while since I've actually had an apple because right now you know the apples have been out of season and so you buy the, the stuff that's imported and it just tastes terrible um, maple syrup parsley potatoes and true free range eggs from a local farmer. So, um, now, what, oh, what, oh yeah, what do we got in here? Spinach, arugula, lettuce, and what do we got in here? There's a little store there as well, a little shop. You can pick up some interesting stuff. Um, cacao beans, organic spearmints, these are actually really good. And don't get freaked out with this one, but I, I, I came across these guys here. That is mealworms. Yep, barbecue mealworms. I had to buy them. I had to buy them. I, I gotta, I'm gonna take these to work and uh, dare my uh, the guys at work to try some. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try some. But uh, yeah, you know that's a, be, becoming a thing now. Um, 
insects, cricket flower, and things like that. So there it is. That's my food hall. Now, unfortunately, this is probably too much for me to eat before it all starts to go, you know? Like, I just, but when you're at the farmer's market, what can I say? Your eyes, I don't know, you just like, oh, I got to get that, I got to get that. It's very seductive. And the people that are, you know, at the stands are, oh, they're oh so friendly. So you end up buying way more than what, I mean, I'm a, I'm a single guy. My kids are off to camp. This is ridiculous. And I've got nobody to share this food with, you know. I think the solution is, is maybe I have to stop being single because, uh, you know, I... This is going to get wasted, some of this food. Anyways, I feel a little bit bad about that, but what can I do?